Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to configure SLT ADSL and POTV into a custom router rather using the original router provided by TSLT. Because when I'm using this particular router, I have experienced so many disruptions, especially while online gaming and video conferencing. Therefore, I am going to analyze all the data or the settings inside this router and copy that data into this custom router which is a TP-Link TDW8961N that is a 4 LAN port ADSL router. Let me try to configure this and let's see how it goes. Okay, now I have connected the router. At the moment only the ADSL cable is connected as you can see here. The power is on, ADSL signal is there, but no internet, but no internet and the Wi-Fi is available. So with that, we are going to start configuring the router. Okay, let's start configuring. First we go to Wi-Fi. Uh, there's the modem. Here, connect. Then we have to insert the Wi-Fi key. The default key is given at the back of the router. So this is the default key. Okay, let's open browser. Then the modem IP 192.168.1.1. This is the default IP for this particular modem or else we can simply type the web address for this particular modem that is tplinkmodem.net tplinkmodem.net So for this router it is admin password also admin Okay So this is a brand new router So start with quick start We are going to not going to go through this quick start setup. We'll exit and configure manually. Okay, first we'll go to the interface setup. Interface setup, and here the ATM VC, the virtual circuits, uh, we only need two virtual circuits, uh, PVC0 and PVC1. Therefore, first we're going to deactivate all the other PCs. Deactivate, save. also deactivate or deactivate okay. 5 deactivate It's already deactivated. Okay. Then we come back to virtual circuit zero. Okay, virtual circuit zero, the VPI will be eight, VCI thirty-five. Uh, keep it UBR. Don't change anything. PCR for this modem, I think it's maximum five thousand five hundred cells per second. Let's put that value and don't change here. And the ISP, it is PPPOA, PPPOE. Okay, service name we just put here, the okay, SLT ADSL because here we are configuring the virtual circuit for ADSL. So the username, the SLT username. DB, so whatever the username, at SLTDB, and your password. Don't change, don't change these parameters. And uh, that's all. Save. Then the virtual circuit 2. 
here the VPI is 8, VCI is 36, UBR here yeah, previously same value. And here the ISP is bridge mode, the same. Okay, that's it. That's all with the interface setup. Then we go to LAN. Here we are going to dedicate port number 4 for POTV. Therefore, I am going to remove this port number 4 from the DHCP server and the bottom I am going to uh, enable DHCP version 6 and put in the mod, mod as auto and save. Okay. If required, you can go to wireless settings right here and change the SSID for your wireless network and change the pre-shared key if required and that's it that's the uh, that's all for the interface setup then we go to advanced setup in the advanced setup we go to virtual LAN and activate it and then first we define the virtual RAM groups as you remember in the previous interface setup we selected the virtual circuit 0 as our ADSL virtual circuit and virtual circuit 1 as the POTV, POTV circuit. Therefore, in the advanced setup, in the, in the VLAN tab, first I am going to define the virtual LAN for POTV. That the POTV, the uh, VC, or virtual circuit it was 1, virtual ID was 1. We simply uncheck every other box and keep only one here. And the Ethernet, I assign it to port 4. And wireless LAN, I uncheck everything. And then only two ticks one here and four here. One for virtual circuit, one for Ethernet, and the same. Then the next virtual LAN index, two. And virtual LAN ID also I'm going to put as 2 and select all the other ports which we have not checked in the previous case this is for the internet port 0 2 to 7 and the Ethernet ports 1 2 3 not 4 and wireless LAN port 1 and 4 whatever the ports available here and then simply save okay so you can confirm here and yeah I forgot to activate it activate okay. done then we go to next in this screen for virtual circuit 1 and port 4 we are going to assign PVID 1 and for all the other ports we are going to assign PVID 2 because in the previous screen in the previous screen we assign uh, VLAN ID 2 for internet ports and VLAN ID 1 for POTV. Therefore, for all the internet ports, VLAN ID 2. two. Not port 4, that is for POTV. And save. That's all for advanced setup. Then we go to the access management. In the access management, the first part, the ACL, uh, it has to be activated. We need to add two additional parameters here. So we'll simply go to ACL rule index two. The first rule, uh, don't change, keep it as it is. And the second rule, the IP address is 222.165.185.1 to 222.165.1854 
and the application yes it has to be web and the interface change it to WAN and save another rule that we are going to add rule number three same IP address 222.165.185.1 now the application change it to ping and the interface again when and save something is missing here I think I forgot to activate this activate save and three activate yes see now all three are active then we go to CWMP CWMP you have to activate first and the URL is HTTP colon double slash ACS dot SLT dot LK okay and the username is all simple ACS at SLT and the password is capital A C S hashtag six seven five four capital A simple C simple S hashtag six seven five four and the connection path don't change it is slash TR zero six nine as it is the port number also don't change seven five four seven and the username same username and same password and the periodic info the interval you change it to 1800 click save if we come back to the status of the router and you will see that both virtual circuit virtual circuit 0 and virtual circuit 1 we see 1 is for internet is up and virtual circuit 1 for your TV that is also up we check the internet connection as usual why don't we try Google BBC news yeah internet is fine okay now you can see we have configured ADSL therefore uh, the internet LED is also blinking and then I'm going to connect the POTV LAN connection okay now I have connected the LAN cable for POTV to LAN port 4 and then we try switching on the POTV box and see how it goes here's the POTV box and let's try switching it on and the connection is green as you can see here the LAN connection is green here TV is loading that's all fellas okay then go ahead and enjoy your POTV using your own custom router